let a is equal to a matrix 2 4 3 2 b is equal to 1 3 minus 2 5 and c is equal to negative 2 5 3 and 4 then find each of the following the first one is a plus b and we know that sum of two matrices is possible when their orders are same and their corresponding elements to be added so we can write 2 4 3 2 it's a 2 by 2 matrix having two rows and two columns and another matrix 1 3 negative 2 and 5 it is also a 2 by 2 matrix so these two matrices are having the same order so addition is possible so we can add the corresponding elements we can identify the corresponding elements 2 plus 1 and the next 4 plus 3 and 3 plus of minus 2 and 2 plus 5 which is equal to 3 7 3 plus of minus 2 that is 3 minus 2 is 1 and 7 so 3 7 and 1 7 is the matrix which is again the same order 2 by 2 that's a plus b and coming to second a minus b which is equal to so we can write 2 4 3 and 2 minus 1 3 negative 2 and 5 so we can subtract the corresponding elements so we can write here 2 minus 1 next to 4 minus 3 and 3 minus of minus 2 and 2 minus 5 which is equal to 2 minus 1 it's 1 4 minus 3 is 1 3 minus of minus 2 is 5 and 2 minus 5 is minus 3 so which is again 2 by 2 matrix it's a a minus b matrix and coming to the third one 3 times a minus c which is equal to so 3 times the matrix A that is 2 4 3 and 2 minus the matrix C is given negative 2 5 and 3 and 4 so it's a 3 times matrix is a scalar multiplication so you can just multiply 3 to each and every element in the matrix so we can write this is 3 times 2, 3 times 4, 3 times 3 and 3 times 2 minus and the second matrix is minus 2, 5 and 3 and 4 so which is equal to so 3 2s are 6, 3 4s are 12, 3 3s are 9 and 3 2s are 6 minus of minus 2, 5, 3 and 4. So subtracting 6 negative of negative 2 and 12 negative minus 5 and 9 minus 3 and 6 minus 4 which is equal to 6 plus 2 is 8. 12 minus 5 7, 9 minus 3 6 and 6 minus 4 2. So 3a minus c is a 8 7 6 2 matrix. Now let's see fourth one. Which is equal to, so matrix a 2 4 3 and 2 and matrix b is 1 3 negative 2 and 5 and we know that matrix multiplication is possible only when number of columns in the first matrix is equal to number of rows in the second matrix so the first matrix order is 2 by 2 and the second matrix order is 2 by 2 so here we can say that the number of columns in first matrix 
is equal to number of rows in the second matrix these both are equal and so multiplication is possible and the multiplication is follows just remember row with column operate row with column so first row with the first column will get the first element a11 so 2 into 1 and then 4 into minus 2 so it's the first element first row with first column will give you first element a11 and then first row with the second column 2 into 3 plus 4 into 5 this is first row with the second column will give second element that is a12 so here let me write this is a11 and this is a12 and then again second row second row with the first column so 3 into 1 plus 2 into minus 2 that is first row with second row with first column so which is a21 and second row with the second column 3 into 3 plus 2 into 5 so which is second row with the second column that is a22 element so the product will be containing order 2 by 2 the first number and the last number so 2 by 2 means 4 elements will be there a11 a12 a21 a22 so here we will be getting the matrix with the second 2 by 2 order so which is equal to So 2 ones are 2, 4 into negative 2 is minus 8 and here 2 into 3 6 plus 5 4 is 20. Next 3 ones are 3 minus 4 and here 9 plus 10. So which is equal to 2 minus 2 is negative, 2 minus 8 is negative 6 and 6 plus 20 is 26. 3 minus 4 is negative 1, 9 plus 10 is 19. So the product AB is equal to minus 6, 26, negative 1 and 19. And now let's say fifth one. BA is equal to B matrix is 1, 3, negative 2 and 5 with order 2 by 2. And matrix A is 2 4 3 2 of order again 2 by 2 so here number of rows sorry number of columns in first matrix is equal to number of rows in second matrix so multiplication is possible and the order of the mul multiplication will be getting 2 by 2 so we can obtain row with column first row with first column so we can write 1 into 2 plus 3 into 3 first row with first column will give a11 element because it's a 2 by 2 matrix means you will be getting a11 a12 a21 and a22 so this is the required matrix so a11 is obtained by first row with first column a12 is obtained by first row with the second column that is first row with the second column 1 into 4 plus 3 into 2 and again the next one a21 is obtained by second row with first column so you can write minus 2 into 2 plus 5 into 3 and again second row with the second column negative 2 into 4 plus 5 into 2 so which is equal to 1 2 are 2 plus 9 and 1 4 are 4 plus 6 and here negative 4 plus 15 and here negative 8 plus 10 which is equal to 11 10 and 15 minus 4 is 11 10 minus 8 is 2 so 11 10 
and 11 2 which is 2 by 2 matrix is a required matrix BA and we also can observe that A B and B A both are different so matrix A B is not equal to matrix BA so that we can conclude that product is not commutative